Well, now to the latest on the mass shooting in Oklahoma. Four people are dead after a gunman opened fire at a medical facility in Tulsa. It comes just a week after the massacre in Texas. In all, there have now been 233 mass shootings so far this year, including yesterday's Tulsa uh, shooting. And as people continue to follow the very latest on this, many are demanding something finally be done. ABC's Rena Roy joining us now live with more. Rena. Well, David, people across the country are still trying to come to terms with the mass shootings in Buffalo and Texas, and now there is yet another one to grapple with. Authorities revealing new details about this shooting a few moments ago, saying the gunman purchased an AR-15 assault-style rifle just hours before the attack. They're running in. First responders rushing to the scene of America's latest mass shooting Wednesday evening. The first shooting at the Natalie building, 6475 South Yale. Police say four people were killed when a gunman stormed into a Tulsa medical facility armed with a rifle and handgun and opened fire. At 2 p.m. on June the 1st, Mr. Lewis purchased a semi-automatic rifle from a local gun store. Several others were injured. He came in with the intent to kill Dr. Phillips and anyone who got in his way. He blamed Dr. Phillips for the ongoing pain following the surgery. Authorities say the gunman died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound at the scene. Meantime, the nation still reeling over the massacre in Uvalde, Texas. 19 children and two teachers killed last week. Three more children being buried today. Mourners paying tribute to teacher Eva Mireles. We know in our, in, in, in our hearts that, you know, She's a hero, not only here in Uvalde, but throughout the whole community, and we know that for a fact. The investigation into the shooting continues. School police chief Pete Arredondo, who made the call for officers to wait to confront the gunman, says he's in fact talking with state investigators. This after the Texas Department of Public Safety said that he had not responded to requests for a follow-up interview for days. Calls for gun control are growing louder across the country. Today, the House Judiciary Committee is holding an emergency hearing on gun control bills, and the full House could vote as early as next week, though the package likely will not pass in the Senate.